Good morning, uh, River of Life. How are you? It is a beautiful um, September morning, and I'm excited to share a little bit uh, with you about uh, just. I just want to talk about faith and patience today. Um, I got to be honest. I'm always intimidated to do these take fives because I feel like, oh, maybe I don't really have um, the right words to share. Maybe. Um, Maybe I'm not uh, close enough with God in this season and I should be uh, pursuing him more before just trying to share my opinion about different verses in the Bible. But um, this morning I was just asking God, like, hey, where where am I at and where, where can I be of value in um, this season and this theme that's kind of been um, tossed around a lot in my life lately is patience um, and faithfulness, perseverance. Um, and it took me to Hebrews in chapter 10 and a little bit of chapter 11. Um, in chapter 10, he talks about uh, just persevering through persecution um, towards the end of the chapter anyways. And in uh, verse 36, uh, the writer says, you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. And then uh, in quotes again, this is Jesus being quoted from the Old Testament, or not the Old Testament, but uh, the Gospels. But my righteousness, but my righteous one will live by faith, and I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. I'm sorry, that part. <laughs> that part was from Habakkuk, and then the, the quote before was from Isaiah. So the prophet's talking about um, Jesus and the second coming of Christ as well. And then in verse 39, But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. And then if you continue into chapter 11, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offering. And by faith Abel still speaks even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And the chapter goes on. Um, I love this chapter. If you get a chance to read it, Hebrews 11, um, to talk about how the faith of Old Testament um, Bible characters or um, people who lived throughout the Old Testament would act um, in faith and then receive um, salvation, essentially. So, like, uh, in verse 8, by faith Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. Um, excuse me. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing, was enabled to bear a child, because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. And it goes on and on, and, and it's just this demonstration of when we have faith, um, that God will provide that he'll be present that we'll be able to experience his goodness um it, he always holds true to the promise right and it's not that like oh i have faith that god is going to pay my house off next month and so then it's going to happen it's not it doesn't mean that what it means is that if we have faith that if god promised you something if god promised that he would um bring your daughter or son back to christ if he promised that you would have a, a baby of your own um, then you just have to have faith 
um, that he will be true to those promises. And when you have faith, you you get to experience this perseverance, this um, this patience, this waiting, this faithfulness um, to those promises, and then experience God's goodness in that. Um, so in my life, just to, to take this back, I don't know if this makes sense or if it, there's any context, but in my life right now, um, there's a lot of ways that I want to... Um, excel, that I want to see myself grow, that I want to take um, steps into what I see myself doing in 10 years versus what I'm doing right now. And I know that God has promised that I will, um, I will be able to accomplish some of those things. But I also know that it, left to my own demise, I will um, squander the time in waiting away. I won't take the time to prepare my heart, to prepare myself for what God has for me. And so I'm, I'm stuck in this middle where I just need to be patient and faithful to the promise that I know he gave me, meaning maybe I live in that promise as much as I can right now, and then be patient with the rest of my time and take it as an opportunity to grow and prepare my character, my integrity, my heart all the more for the things that I'm going to step into in the future. Um, and, and I know that that is always easier said than done for me this past week or two or month or quarter really has been really hard um, to live that out um, so this is a reminder for me just as much as you um, that we need to be faithful where we're at um, in order to receive um, where God wants to take us when we're faithful with the little we are granted the much to be faithful with as well not not the much just to do with whatever we want with but to continue being faithful um, to the promise and to the integrity that God has instilled in our hearts so um, as you go throughout your week uh, throughout your, the rest of your quarter your month um, until we meet again on another take five I just encourage you to um, do your best to exercise patience in the little things and the big things um, and trust in faith that God has the very best for you, that he has um, those promises in store. And sometimes getting to them is as fulfilling as the promise itself. Sometimes um, waiting for them, sometimes trusting in him is as important as um, receiving that promise as well. So I just want to encourage you, um, commend you on continuing to um, have patience and have faith. And I just pray that God would um, he touch your heart today, that you'd be able to experience his goodness in the little things and continue to walk steadfastly in his love and his purpose and his mission for your life. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you around.